Yes, people, what's going on? Welcome to Stretford Paddock. I am Adam McCola, and this is the transfer review. No, I'm not Stephen Allison, nor am I that Jesus looking fella Joe, or am I Baldy J. I am Adam McCola. I'm here for my transfer review debut, I think this is, which is weird. I've definitely not done a transfer review here at Old Trafford. So let's say it is my debut. We're here today to look at those links to Manchester United and from Manchester United. We've got loads to get stuck into today. And as always in this video, we will be rating these rumours from zero to 10. 10 being they are definitely happening. They're going to be with Sancho and Varane in Manchester United's team before this transfer window closes. And zero or one being no, that shit is never, ever, ever, ever happening. Not on my watch. So those are the ratings, one to 10. Make sure you're getting your ratings in those comments below as we go through this show. And one more thing, make sure you're subscribing as well. Get hitting that notifications bell. And of course, get your thoughts in the comments below. And we are about to hit 600K. Um, so get hitting that subscribe button, help us hit our targets. And obviously just join up, man. You get all this free content. You get three, four videos a day. You get match coverage, all of it in the bag there on this channel, the best channel. So make sure you're keeping it locked. And of course, getting your subscription on. Right then, moving on to our first rumor of the day. Now this one is easy to rate guys because Fabrizio Romano comes in and says, Manchester United are currently not working to sign Aurelian Chouameni from AS Monaco this summer. No talks or direct contacts as of now. Now that came after a week of reports that Manchester United were lining up a move for Aurelian Chouameni from Monaco. The defensive midfielder was linked with the club. A lot of Manchester United fans got excited because such a young, talented player, you know, potentially coming into the club, decent fee as well, you know, not much expectation around him, although I'm sure if he signs for Manchester United, then the expectation is going to go through the roof. But he was linked with a move to Manchester United. United fans got excited. And then Fabrizio Romano came out and said, whoa, 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 United are not working on a deal for him. But we have heard United have been scouting him for a while. We have heard links with Aurelian for a long, long time now. I say a long time, probably about 12 months. So with that in mind, let's get to rating this bad boy. Fabrizio Romano says we're not working on a deal to sign him. So that means we're not signing him this transfer window, most likely, unless a lot of things change. But we have been scouting him for a while. He might not get a move from Monaco this summer because he's not long just joined up there. And as a result, United's interest could remain for a little bit longer. So I am going to go with a 3 out of 10 here for Aurelian Tramaney. Obviously, given further news about him potentially going somewhere else, we're available to lower that. And of course, if we get some tasty rumours, if we get some, some smoke around this transfer, then we would be able to bump that up a little bit. So I don't think this is anything that's going to happen anytime soon, but I would keep an eye on Tramaney because a lot of big clubs are going to be in for him. And let's say Eduardo Camavinga ends up going to PSG or Real Madrid, then that means Tramaney could be Manchester United's to go in there and grab up. Moving on from that and to Ruben Neves, we hear that Manchester United are still wanting Ruben Neves as Wolves set transfer price for the late deal. Now we hear a bid of around 30 million pounds could bring Ruben Neves to your club. Yes, that's what we've heard for about three, four weeks now. We have heard Ruben Neves is on the market for a while. The player's been coming out saying, actually, I'm happy to stay at Wolves. You know, I'm looking forward to the season ahead, etc., etc. But maybe that's because there's not real, real, real interest or a real, real bid there at the moment. So he doesn't want to come out and say, yeah, yeah, I'm looking to leave Wolves and nothing comes forward and then he doesn't end up leaving. Do you know what I mean? So Ruben Neves, apparently still on the cards for Manchester United. Apparently, we are still keeping those tabs on him. Now, Jesse Lingard is someone that could leave. Andreas Pereira is someone that has got a move to Brazil, albeit on loan. We have reduced his wages off our wage bill and we have, of course, taken him out of the squad. So we've got a free space in that squad now. But we need to sell one more or two more and we could potentially see that happening in the next few weeks. So if that happens, I could see us making a move for Ruben Neves. I predicted this on my channel about two, three weeks ago 
and potentially I think United will be going back in for him once we clear a few other things up. Plus, we might leave it close to the end of the window. Hope Ruben Neves has forces something. We can get a cheaper deal on him. Happy days. I think this one may happen a little bit later in the window. I'm not going to say it's 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10. I'm going to go for a, six, a 7 out of 10 that Ruben Neves joins. No, 7 seems too high, doesn't it? 6. 0.7 out of 10. That's where I'm going with this one. Ruben Neves to Manchester United. It could be on. Now, whenever any big name becomes available, and this name is big in more ways than one, Robert Lewandowski. Apparently, he wants a new challenge. And as I said, when a big name is made available, he is always linked with Manchester United. And that is no different with Robert Lewandowski. We here the German side have valued him at more than £100 million, which may price him out of a move. Lewandowski is happy at Bayern Munich, but wants to join another top European club before he turns 35. Lewandowski is unlikely to do anything that would harm his good relationship with Bayern Munich. So basically, what is going on at the moment is, Bayern Munich have gone, if there's a club out there that's stupid enough to give us £100 million for Robert Lewandowski, 120 million pounds for Robert Lewandowski. Then we will go and shrewdly reinvest that in Erling Haaland. Nah, <laughs> but look, Robert Lewandowski is obviously an elite striker. Robert Lewandowski is obviously the best, if not second best, about. He was robbed of a Ballon d'Or because of COVID. Let's be real there with Robert Lewandowski. But are Manchester United going to be signing him? There's a ladybird on my hand. Look at this shit. <laughs> ah! I think it pissed on me. United ain't getting him. We're not spending 100 million pounds. That writes us out of this equation very, very quickly. And also, as we just read, he's not even that keen on a move. He's not gonna force one. He's not gonna upset anyone at Bayern Munich. Is this really gonna happen? Robert Lewandowski to Man United? Why have I even spoke about it for this long? Maybe because the ladybird was on my hand. Lewandowski to Manchester United. Zero out of 10. Next up, Kieran Trippier. Now, he's been linked with a move to Arsenal, to Manchester United. And Atletico Madrid are apparently sticking to their guns. We want £40 million for this player, they are saying. You have to meet his release clause. Otherwise, he's going nowhere. Kieran Trippier is going nowhere. He's not going to Man United. He's not going to Arsenal. Now, Arsenal being in the equation for him, I, I, I don't know what that all about. Obviously, he wouldn't pick Arsenal over Manchester United if he had the choice between both clubs. But that price tag could be a sticking point for Manchester United. And as I've said before, I think we're just going to wait it out. We're going to try and get to the end of the window, see what happens. But, but there's also part of me that thinks the ship has sailed on this one now as well. Because AC Milan were possibly going to take Diogo De Loa off us. Now, they're not going to be taking Diogo De Loa off us because they've already signed a fullback. So Diogo De Loa is going to stay at Manchester United. If Diogo De Loa stays at Manchester United, United aren't going to be in the market for Kieran Trippier. So, as much as I think this could still happen towards the end of the window, I think a few other things have happened which mean that it's probably a little less likely than what it was two or three weeks ago. And for that reason, I'm going to go with a 6 out of 10 Kieran Trippier to Manchester United. Next up, as always, we've got a story about Paul Pogba. Now, we hear from the Metro and various other reports that Manchester United are not expecting Paul Pogba to sign a new contract despite a huge offer. We heard Manchester United made a 400 grand a week offer to Paul Pogba to stay at the club, which as of yet has not been signed. Um, you know, he's not rejected it either, but he's not accepted it. Um, and Manchester United are trying to find out what's going on. We hear within the team, within Old Trafford, within Carrington, within the club, Paul Pogba is great to be around. Paul Pogba is a fantastic teammate and Paul Pogba hasn't caused any problems amongst the team. He's been fantastic for us as we saw against Leeds. So I doubt he's going to cause any issues on the pitch for Manchester United or within the dressing room. But it's not ideal going into the season with one of your best players potentially running his contract down. That's not where we want to be. Now, I personally don't think it's just about money. Paul Pogba can earn money anywhere. Do you know what I mean? But it could become about money um, because when a player is available on a free, suddenly PSG or Real Madrid or whoever can offer him an extra 200 grand a week. 
300 grand a week because there's no transfer fee for them to put up. They can offer them a better signing on fee, a better agents fee. Suddenly, you're now fighting a battle that's much more difficult to win. Um, but we offered Paul Pogba Manchester United's biggest ever contract like two years ago, which he rejected. Now, I do think it's about winning trophies for him. He'll want to win trophies. He'll want to be highly paid as well, obviously. But he'll want to win trophies. And we're building a team that, at the moment that, to me, looks like it can challenge for the trophies. So I believe if over the next couple of months we show, or the next couple of weeks we show that we're moving in that direction, Paul Pogba probably signs a new deal at Manchester United. He's probably just playing for a better deal. But I just can't be bothered with all the hassle, with all the headache, with all the drama, with all his agent and all that stuff from January or maybe even before. It's just going to be tiring, man. And I really genuinely cannot put up with it. Let's do a rating on whether I think Paul Pogba is going to sign a new contract at Manchester United. I'm 60% that he does. Six out of ten. And now our final story is Jesse Lingard in the mail. It's a, whoa, 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 What's all this wildlife today, man? Fuck. Daily Mail are reporting that Jesse Lingard is ready to leave Manchester United unless he receives assurances from Ole Gunnar Solskjaer he will play regularly as he looks to revive his England career in time for the 2022 World Cup. That's a headline, bro. Why is that so long? It's a headline. A headline is supposed to be quick, snappy, sharp, to the point. That is the article in a headline. What is the point of the article? Bro, what the hell was that? Anyway. Jesse Lingard isn't going to get the assurances that he wants at Manchester United, is he? He's just not, unfortunately. I love Jesse Lingard. He should be playing week in, week out for a club somewhere. Unfortunately, that's not going to be Manchester United unless we have massive injury issues. And therefore, I think it's best for him, best for United, just let him go. He needs to be balling out somewhere for someone. The Atletico Madrid move that he was linked with sounded really good. But unfortunately, that one's gone quiet. West Ham, potentially still interested in him. He could go there. Um, but Jesse Lingard, I think, by the time the transfer window closes, will no longer be at Manchester United because there will be a team out there somewhere that will make him one of their main men, that will give him the opportunities that Manchester United won't. And um, unfortunately, it just feels like maybe the time is right for both to part ways, as gutted as I would be. And I genuinely wouldn't mind seeing Jesse Lingard staying within Manchester United's squad and being a part of it because United squad is better with him in it than without him. So I do think Jesse Lingard is going to leave Manchester United. I'd say Jesse Lingard to leave, 8 out of 10. Jesse Lingard to leave to West Ham, I'd say 7 out of 10 because I do think there could be potentially some better clubs that come in for him. Anyway, guys, this has been the transfer review brought to you by me, Adam McCullough, a ladybird and a wasp on Stretford Paddock, outside Old Trafford. Make sure you're keeping it locked, you're liking, commenting, sharing, get your transfer review rumour raters in the comments below. And um, yeah, I've been Adam McCullough. I'm out of here.